Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the XOR queries of a subarray problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 1310. So in this given exam, in this given problem, we are given with an array of uh, positive integers ARR and we have to find uh, and we have also given with an array queries where queries of i is actually a 2D array with left of i and right of i. This left of i and right of i actually signifies the starting and the ending point of a range that we'll see in the problem ahead. Now for each query of i, we have to compute the XOR of elements from left of i till the right of i in the array. That is, we have to do ARR of left of i, XOR ARR of left plus 1, then ARR of left plus 2, till ARR of right. We have to do all this XOR for each query and we have to return the answer in answer of i for each query. That means we have to return a array for the whole problem. So let me explain you the problem using an example. Suppose we have taken this first example. So in this example, the array is 1, 3, 4, and 8. And the queries are 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 3, and 3, 3. So if you carefully see, we have to, for the first query, we have to do the XOR from 0th index till 1st index. That means 1 and 3. So it will be 2. In the next step, we have to do the XOR from first index till second index, that is from 3 to 4, that will be 7. And then in the next step, you have to do the XOR from 0 to third index, that means 1, 3, 4, and 8 entire array, that is 14. And in for the last, you have to do the XOR of 3 with 3, that is only one element, so you will return only 8. So, the, let's see how we are to going to solve the problem. So we'll be using a prefix sum approach in this problem. To solve this uh, problem efficiently, we need to calculate the XOR of all the subarrays. So since since we are computing a prefix XOR array, we, it will be very easy for us to uh, guess the final answer of i. Suppose uh, you want the XOR of 1 till 2. So what you will do? You will do basically simply prefix of 2 XOR with prefix of 0. That means since our range was 1 to 2, so you do the, do the prefix of 2 with the, that is right, prefix of right with the prefix of left minus 1. In the case left minus 1 exists. And in the prefix sum what you will do? You will simply do the commutative XOR of all the elements. So you can see for uh, this example we are calculating the prefix XOR array. For the index 0 uh, the element is 1 so the prefix has directly stored 1. For the next index 1 the element is 3 so we do the prefix of i minus 1 with, pref with the current element that is 1 XOR 3 that becomes 2. Similarly we do 2 XOR 4 it becomes 6 and then we do 4 XOR sorry 6 XOR 8 that becomes 14. Now since we have this prefix XOR array calculated we have to answer we have to start answering the query. So the first query was 0 and 1 so since the left left is already 0 we will simply return the prefix of 1 in this case that is 2. In the next step we have the query from 1 to 2. So what we'll do? Prefix of right with pref XOR prefix of left minus 1. That is prefix of 2 with prefix of 0. 6 and 1 become 7. Now how is this thing working is actually when you do a XOR of an element 2 times it becomes 0. So in this case when we are doing the XOR of elements before left. So all the elements before left are actually XOR twice and that that particular segment becomes 0 and we only get the XOR till 1 and 2. So this is the basic principle of how this thing works. Now let's see for the this query 0 to 3. So since the left is already 0 we can simply return the prefix of 3 that is 14 and for prefix of 3 and 3. So we do the prefix of right with XOR prefix of left minus 1 that is 2. So 14 XOR 6 it becomes 8. This is the final answer. 
now let's come to the coding section we have the code ready for you here you can go into the solution and check the solution and this solution has all the codes for java c++ python and javascript you can simply get the code from here for the language you want passes all the test cases with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of n plus q and the space complexity for this solution is o of n and uh, you can also find the approach the intuition complexity analysis step by step explanation multiple codes java c++ python javascript for in this solution and yes do remember to upload the solution I hope you understood the logic. Do like the video, share it with your friend, and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.